Now I'm just going to go over some of the basics on troubleshooting on the Yamaha G2 golf cart. Now some people might find if they've taken their carburetor apart and put it back together it might not be running quite so perfect. And there's a couple adjustments that you can still make on it um, that might help it. And we can see that right here. Now we have, this is our idle um, set for the idle on, on the golf cart carburetor. And this is our choke. And this is one of the tricky, most important things right here. And this is our low speed idle mixture screw. Now, it's kind of tricky to set this. You have to take the engine and slow it down to its slowest speed that you can possibly get it to run and stay running steady. And you're going to want to, once you get that to run slow, but probably by like blocking up the pedal or something like that or have somebody holding it, you're going to adjust this out and it'll start to run rich. And then you're going to turn it back in until it runs lean and then back it back out on the happy medium, um, preferably on the, the slightly rich side. And that's going to set your low speed idle circuit. Now, it's kind of tricky doing that, but that might help to make your engine run smoother if it's running rough. Another problem that occurs is they develop a vacuum leak somewhere in the system. Now we have quite a few vacuum hoses. One's coming out of our air filter box here and it goes down and comes up into the top of the valve cover and then we have a, another um, vacuum hose coming out of the side of the valve cover that comes down and goes into this little diaphragm vacuum operated fuel pump that's on the side of the gas tank. Now you can run into trouble if you have your vacuum hoses have a leak or something tore one or it's just plain worn out. Now we can always test this by if the engine's running you can just undo one of these straps and lift up a little bit on the corner. It'll just about shut the engine off because it has to have the piston pressure um, that's coming that's stored inside the block. It's got to be sealed going up into this this um, diaphragm operated fuel pump to pump the fuel. Now a few more problems we can that can occur if we don't have a spark to our spark plug. The electronic ignition is located right underneath the fuel pump. It's this little box that's right here, my fingers on. Now that helps create the spark along with our coil, which is right here. Now these two items here can cause a no spark problem if they are worn out. Now another problem that you can run into is a starter problem. In most cases, the starter is okay and the alternator, but the solenoid, it depends on how much it's used. The solenoid will go bad, and this piece is about $50. You can pick them up on eBay. But anyway, that's uh, the basics and the on the, um, the troubleshooting stuff that the major things that are kind of, um, that can cause uh, problems where the engine doesn't run smooth.